Hi everyone, uh, it's Min again, uh, Product Manager at Smart. Uh, um, I'm really excited to, uh, today to show you a brand new feature in Smart Learning 3 Online. Uh, we've actually made a lot of changes to the way that individual handout activities work. And we know that that's one of your most popular activities because we see you using that very often. Uh, so we would like to make that work a little bit better for you. So today I'm actually going to start inside of this uh, fractions lesson that I prepared. Um, so just as a, a refresher, uh, of course, within the lesson, you have multiple pages. You can see I put in some activities in the lesson. Uh, and this is an originally a notebook lesson I created. So I built, in, um, I built it as an interactive lesson that's intended for students to actually come up to the board uh, and use this activity. So you can see here um, is an activity uh, I had in the lesson where the students are asked to come up to the board, um, divide up the chocolate evenly uh, for the kids, and then write down an appropriate fraction. So with this type of activity, you can have the students come up uh, individually uh, to do this at the board, but of course with uh, SLS Online, uh, the really nice thing is that you can have to, this activity handed out to students so that they can do it individually on their devices. So as a quick recap, um, if you haven't done this before, uh, the way that you can send this activity out to students to work on individually is um, you can click on this little icon uh, on the left-hand side here, where you can see a list of your connected students. So I have five students here. And then at the bottom here, you can see you can convert this page to either handout or collaborative workspace activity on the fly. So I'm going to do handouts this time. And also, of course, you can do this ahead of time if you're preparing the lesson uh, from the, cre the, the creation of the editing experience. Okay, so I converted the activity, and this is probably the first new thing you'll see. So previously with handout activities, what you saw was the activity itself. So you can model the activity, uh, which you can still do. So on this screen, if you look at the bottom uh, right here, you have a button called Teacher Handout. So before starting the activity, if you wanted to model it to students at the front of the board, you can click on Teacher Handouts uh, and demonstrate how you want the students to complete the activity. Uh, when you're done, just tap this uh, down arrow at the top and you're, going, uh, and you're back to this screen. So, if you used workspaces before, uh, this might look familiar to you. This is what we call the teacher dashboard. And right now, you don't see any students show up here because uh, none of my con connected students have connected and started the activity. So I'm going to ask my students uh, who are helping me today to do so. And I'm also going to show you side by side uh, what this looks like for a teacher and for a student. Um, so now, on the left-hand side of the screen, you're seeing the teacher dashboard. And on the right-hand side, you're seeing a, uh, one of the students I've connected to my class, okay? So you see I have uh, uh, some of my students already connected, and once they connect and start the activity, their names will show up in the dashboard. Uh, I'm going to do the same on the right-hand side here and start the handout for that student. And you can see as soon as I started it, uh, my name showed up as well. Uh, and of course, uh, as a student, you now have a copy of that handout activity to do uh, on your device. So I can go in here as a student and complete the activity uh, and then write some fractions. And on the left-hand side here, uh, we also notice is we added some new tools that students can use to complete the activity. So it's no longer just pen and uh, moving the objects, but just like with workspaces, you can also now use text uh, as well as the image search. So depending on what your activity is, uh, students have these additional tools that they can use to contribute content into their copy of the handout and complete the activity. Um, so that's the experience on the student side. Moving back to the teacher side, what's really cool about this dashboard is um, at any time during the activity itself, uh, you as a teacher has the ability to go and uh, view the progress of the student. So let's say I wanna see what Ashley is working on. I just tap on Ashley's name uh, and Ashley's work pops up on the screen. So I can see that Ashley has actually completed the activity uh, uh, beautifully. So this is uh, great, excellent. And just like with Workspace, I can actually use ink or text and give um, support uh, to what Ashley has done. Uh, and then of course you can do that with other students as well. So these changes are happening live too, so you don't have to wait till the student is done. You can actually go in any time to see uh, and survey uh, how they're uh, currently doing and provide guidance or support. Um, another feature I want to draw your attention to is um, 
you know, the dashboard is great, but if you're managing a class of like 25 or 30 students, it might be hard to sort of know when students are done. Um, so for this handouts activity, we've actually provided a way for students to indicate to the teachers when they're done. So let's say uh, I feel like I've completed this activity. I can tap on the done button here on the right hand side. And you see the difference on the teacher side is now I have this little check mark uh, in the teacher dashboard uh, to tell the teacher that this student has indicated that they're done with the activity. So if I want to wait till everybody's done, uh, I can then wait till the, the check marks are all there and then I can go in there and review the student work. Um, it doesn't mean that the students can't edit the activity anymore. So let's say if I wanted to make a change, all I have to do is just click on the edit button. Uh, that of course removes the check mark from my name to let the teacher know that I'm continuing to work on it. And then when I'm finished, I just click done again, uh, which will then put the check mark back. So that's uh, a quick overview of how the handouts activity works and how the dashboard works. Uh, the other thing I wanna to mention too is that if you're using Smart Learning Suite Online Lessons uh, in an out of class scenario, uh, handouts um, activities will also work there too because the, the work that you see me do as a student uh, are now all saved as part of the lesson. So previously they weren't. Uh, when you left the lesson, the student work went away, uh, but now they're always saved uh, with the lesson itself, which means that you as a teacher, uh, you, whether it's during class or after class, you can come back to the lesson, go back to the dashboard and see the student's work. And if you share the lesson uh, to students with a link, they can then uh, use that link to go back into the lesson and complete their handout. Um, so we think that with these uh, improvements, the handouts activity is even more powerful and hopefully you can come up with even more creative ways to use this. So thank you very much uh, for your time today. And uh, please uh, come back next week when we have uh, even more uh, features to show you. So goodbye, everyone.